Do you think that most of the traditional knowledge and wisdom is being lost? Of course it is. Here in the territory of Guatemala, it is very hard to find somebody who works on traditional medicine. When somebody starts doing natural medicine stuff, see, the first thing they try to do is to get rid of that person. They try to destroy them. You get it. Destroy is, uh, you know. Because natural medicine is taking business away from doctors. And I am aware that, because of that, the wisdom and knowledge is being lost, is being pushed away. In Guatemala, the law says you have to go with the doctor. Since doctors make more money and their medicine is a business, natural medicine is ignored or even eliminated. Therefore, natural medicine is being lost here in Guatemala. And the Guatemalan law is letting this happening, unfortunately. Why do you think this happens this way? Well, I think that's because when people get used to a certain kind of doctor or medicinal system, envy and jealousy appear. It has to. Doctors have their own clients, their own business, and they want to hog or corner entire communities. If somebody tries to stop or if somebody tries to block this monopoly, they will send hitmen to eliminate that person. They will kill that person. Right? Yeah. Therefore, natural medicine is being killed as well. There is no further development regarding the knowledge that is found in the jungle. I think that if we started working and extract all those medicines found in plants in the jungle and sell them as we should, pharmaceutical companies would not have any more sales. They would be out of business. That's where this um, confusion happens and that's when they send hitmen to kill. Unfortunately, there is a lot of crime in Guatemala. What do you think can be done to keep these traditions alive? That's a very important question. Jungles are being burned by fire. These people just go to set fires in the jungle. And we just have to protect these medicinal plants by not letting them set fire in the jungle. The forest is very high and there are medicinal plants all over it. With all my knowledge, I never tried to set fire to the jungle. See, I am a protector. I build fences, enclosures, and grazing lands to keep the fire away from the forest. There are more medicinal plants in the high forest than in the rangeland. If you could say something to the people of the United States of America, what would that be? Due to my knowledge, I would recommend, I would advise to all the people in the United States of America, especially in their government, to build greenhouses, big as street blocks, and also sow plants in their mountains, especially medicinal plants. Medicinal plants can grow all over the world. 
They belong to us, the human race. My advice to the United States people is that we need to live in with nature and as nearly as practicable, we have to sow the seeds of medicinal plants everywhere. They can be produced anywhere. And that's the most important thing. Unfortunately, I've heard that the United States doesn't have mountain jungles like this. I've heard that there are lots of desertic areas in the United States, but the government can do something by working on those areas and make them fertile for medicinal plants to grow. With time, these fertile soils will produce medicines for the people of the country. That is my recommendation. See? It is very important. Here we know we have the knowledge that lots of medicines come out of the plants, but we don't practice what we know because of the envy and selfishness in Guatemala. Here, in this park areas, we just have three kinds of medicines that we manage to produce. Mint-based champoons, what we call champoons, and very good ointments made out of the very plants of the mountain. We just manage to produce these because they are small productions. But if we try to produce something bigger, in a bigger scale, the government of Guatemala, which is very strict, won't let the poor prosper and grow. If a producer manages to get the capabilities or the knowledge to produce one medicinal plant-based injection to treat, say, a snake bite, that producer person won't make it alive here in Guatemala. That person, unfortunately, that person's life will be worthless and he'll be in danger. What the president does is because the government doesn't want these other countries where this injection is produced lose their business to us. That's why Guatemala doesn't develop and prosper because of this violence. That's why I tell the people of the United States of America that Guatemala is, besides a beautiful country, a place with lots of medicinal plants. The United States can grow these plants easily over there by learning about them here. If we, put, if we put young buds of these plants in vehicles and transport them over there, they can plant them out in other countries as well. We have very good plants here that heal us. God gave us this. Why should we go to doctors? That is my advice to all the people in the United States of America. Thank you. Cut. I want to thank all girls, boys and elders for listening to me. And I want them to know that my knowledge is big regarding medicinal plants. I know a lot about them, but I don't make a living out of them as a healer. Because if I do so, my life would be over. I would be dead. Therefore, I refrain of healing and doing this as a business. I better keep my mouth shut and not say anything about these medicinal plants. Thank you very much for your time. Take care.
And my name is David Diaz Escobar.